Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, Wujiao Today we are going to continue to talk about expected utility. In particular, I want to talk about reservation and insurance, and also about how much money you are willing to pay for the insurance in order to avoid certain risk. So last time we talked about if you have a risk averse preference, then your utility function is going to be monotonically increasing, meaning if you take the first order derivative, you're going to get something positive. At the same time, your utility function is going to be concave, meaning if you take the second order derivative, you're going to get something negative. Notice that with this kind of utility function, you have diminishing marginal utility of money, meaning if you're poor, then 10 extra dollars is going to give you a very high marginal utility. Well, because you're poor, so $10 you can buy maybe three or four meals. But for a millionaire or billionaire, this 10 extra dollars doesn't give you much marginal utility because you're already very, very wealthy. So we have diminishing marginal utility of money. Now, suppose your utility function US is equal to the net log of X. So you can see um, this is our utility function. That's our wealth and that's our utility of wealth. And suppose you have a $100,000 uh, income per year, and you also have a friend who's a medical doctor who uh, kindly gave you a free medical checkup. But she also brought you some bad news. She said with probability of half, you're going to go through, um, you're going to have a cancer and you will have to go through a treatment for cancer. And that treatment will cost you $60,000, so you'll be left with only $40,000. But with probability I have, you're going to be entirely fine, so you'll be able to keep all the $100,000 you make. So you see, you are forced to enter a lottery. With probability I have, you get only $40,000, and with probability I have, you get $100,000. So, um, what is the expected utility you get from playing that lottery? So we're going to use the expected utility, so that will be a half, times the utility of $40,000 plus a half times the utility of $100,000. And uh, we're going to just plug that into our utility function. So that will be a half times net log of $40,000 plus a half times the net log of $100,000. And after you calculate that, that will be 11.05475. Graphically, you are forced to play the lottery so um, this is a utility, expected utility you get from playing the lottery. That's a half times the utility of $100,000. So that will be a half times 11.5129. Plus a half times the utility of $40,000. That will be a half times 10.5966. So that point will be the expected utility you get from playing this lottery. That will stand for your lottery and that would be your um, expected utility from that lottery. So my question is, what is the amount of money for sure, so in your pocket, that yields that level of utility, the utility that is 11.05475? So graphically, you'll be able to find it. So the utility level is here. And what is the amount of money that will give you that level of utility? So that will be here. And you go down and look you'll be able to calculate the amount of money is exactly $63,418. So how do I calculate that? That question, putting it mathematically, would be, suppose the amount of money is X, and that amount of money X will give me the utility 11.05475, which is exactly the amount of utility I get from playing that lottery. So we can calculate this. Um, net log x is equal to 11.05475 and after you solve for x, you'll be able to find that x is exactly equal to $63,418. So playing this lottery gives me the same utility as um, $63,418 in my pocket for sure. So um, whatever that is, um, for the insurance I'm going to pay, I must have at least $63,418 in my pocket for me to feel indifferent as having this amount of money and playing that lottery. 
That means I am not going to pay the amount of money so that I will be left with the money that's less than $63,418. I need to have at least this amount of money in my pocket for me to uh, remain indifferent between having this amount of money and playing that lottery. So the maximum amount insurance company can charge me will be $100,000 minus $63,418. And that's exactly $36,582. Meaning the insurance company cannot charge me more than that. Because if the insurance, money charge, the insurance company charges me more than this amount, that means I will be left with the amount of money that's less than $63,418 meaning I will be worse off than playing this lottery. So if any insurance company is trying to charge me more than $36,582 to avoid this risk, I'm going to say, forget about your insurance. I prefer to play this lottery because if I play the lottery, I can have at least um, this amount of utility. You need to make sure that I have at least this amount of utility, otherwise I'm not going to buy your insurance. So I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.